Hey, good morning, Gage. Uh, this is a quick demo video for you for your Saber Forge ASP Saber. Um, this is reinstalled with a golden harvest that you wanted. You had the factory install in it before. It was also a golden harvest, so we switched that out. Um, it had a single switch up here, and then you had a USB seedling right where this second switch is now, if we can zoom in on that, right? So now it's a two button setup. Your front switch will remain your power, but now your back switch is auxiliary. Um, went ahead and swapped out your custom Saber Shop uh, seven pin connector. I gave you a Carl Chen uh, V4 NeoPixel connector and it has LEDs on it. So I'll show you how those light up. And then after finding out that the handle did not come off very easily right here, I made you a removable chassis. So what you want to do is come over here and open the pommel. Now this is going to be a little bit different than what you're used to. So open the pommel. You'll see your speaker and go like this, right? Your chassis will come right out. Uh, this is utilizing a Smuggles Outpost 14 pin pixel PCB set. So this female PCB makes contact uh, with a 14 pin set up there. And let me grab my phone and then I can show you what that looks like. That is in a chassis system that doesn't come out. So if you can see that in there, that's a 14 pin PCB in there. All right, so all that doesn't come out, that is held in place by these two switches actually. So I made, I, I modeled it up to have two holes for the switches. And once I press fitted the switches inside, it locked everything in place. All right, but this is what your chassis looks like now. So you have this golden harvest board easy access to your SD card. You can come in here, whoops, wrong side. You can come in here with your finger, pop it in and out, do whatever you need to do. And But it is glued to the chassis, uh, so that way it doesn't pop up on you. There's no reason to pop the board up since everything is done from the SD card. All right, so that's what you've got there. Uh, so Solo Sabers over here for me, and just, uh, just playing around with a few different greeblies for my chassis here lately. Uh, a removable battery setup, so please spring side negative side of your battery and then you have a 28 millimeter smuggles outpost elite speaker so also it is an upgrade from what you had in there all right so let's throw a battery in i made the battery a tight fit on purpose so press all the way down on the spring and then clip your battery in right whether or not he is the chosen one is still to be determined i made this exactly like the setup that you had before only difference being now that you have two buttons. So um, I'm not super well versed in golden harvest functionality. I know how to wire it up correctly, make it fire up. Um, but every everything that you had on the other board is on this one. All right. So once you've got that battery in there, you just want to make sure this piece goes in first. It doesn't matter how you put the chassis in as long as it's this piece first. All right. So just go ahead, slide it in there. Don't push on the middle of the speaker. Use the pummel. The pummel, when you screw it in, it is the mechanism that pushes your chassis all the way forward and locks it into those pins so that we can come over here and power it up. And now your LEDs up here are firing up. Auxiliary back here. And of course we You've still got that functionality on your power switch and hold it down to turn it off. All right, we'll put a blade in. This takes a one inch diameter blade. I'm using the test blade, but it's still set up for the full length blade that you had. Um, one more difference is this grub screw down here used to hold your pixel connector. Now it's just an extra screw. You can use both of these for blade retentions if you like, or you can just use the one. If you're gonna use the one though, I would suggest using this one up here. All right, so I'll just throw a blade in. You can feel it bouncing on the pins when you get it in person. So make sure, again, just it's locked in on those pins. We lock it down with our blade retention screw, and then we turn it on, right? Still got your flash on flash.
turn up. Sound menu. Master Anakin. Son of darkness. Dark side relic. When you find what you like, hold the button down. This one with a red blade. So same sound fonts, same order. I basically copy and pasted most everything on onto the new one, except for uh, you had your button mode set at four, which is for a single button saber. I changed that to two, which is for a, a two button saber. All right, so when we're done again, we'll just come over here, take our pummel off, take your saber in one hand and cup your other one, and just go like that once, it should pop right out for you. And then when you want to take your battery out, do it from the positive side over here by your speaker. Just pop it out with your finger. All right. Um, and that is basically your ASP saver. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and I will package this up today. Thanks, man.